Everybody having a great Sunday morning, or middle of the week, or whenever it is that you decided to pop in on this video, right now, I've got one thing to ask you to do. Stand up, stretch it out, and get ready to worship God. All right, here we go, guys.
You know, worshiping God is so much fun. I just can't get over what a great time we just had. You know what's going to be almost as much fun? Seeing what's going on at Connect HQ. Let's see. I should find the perfect background. Hmm. No. Definitely not. Hmm. That's not quite it. You know what? I think that's perfect. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Hi, I'm Harper and I'm part of Connect HQ. I'm so glad you're here with us today. First things first, let's take a look at a postcard. It says, Dear Connect HQ, Twice a week, I have to go to art class, but I'm not very good at it. Do you think if I told my teacher, she would let me go to gym instead? Signed, Zoe. Zoe, thank you so much for writing to us and asking us this question. There are a lot of people here at Connect HQ who are very talented and artistic, but some of us aren't very good at drawing and painting. We actually learned about it a couple days ago. Here, let me show you what happened. So what is this special thing you have planned, Vincent? I call it the Creative Communion. It's a time for all of us to come together at Connect HQ and encourage each other and express ourselves in creativity. In fact, I was hoping that you three would help me with what do you call it in uh, a trial run. I love this idea. Art class is my second favorite class. It does sound pretty fun, and after archiving a bunch of Bible links earlier today, it would be a nice change of pace. Now that is the spirit. What if you're not the best artist in the world? I'll do not worry, I have a plan. I will lead you through a series of creative exercises aimed at unlocking your artistic potential. If there's one thing I know, it's that God created you. You can create too. God was the very first creator and he created us to be creative with him. God created you. You can create too. That's amazing. It's my new second favorite motto. What do you say, Captain Alyssa? Are you in? Please, s'il vous plaît. All right, all right. I'm in. Magnifique. Meet me in the lounge in 15 minutes. For our first creative exercise, we will keep things easy. You will just need two things. First, a marker and a piece of paper. There is no better way to jumpstart the imagination. All right. I can't wait to get started. Yeah, me too. Well, let us begin. Now, didn't that hour go by very fast? It really did. I know, right? Sure. Well, now's the time has come to unveil your masterpieces. Ape, you go first. This is a flower that I walk by every day after school. It makes me really happy every time I see it. Bravo, wonderful work. Walt? I love watching bugs. Every time I see them, I'm reminded of how awesome of a creator God is. Excellent. And Captain Alyssa? <laughs> this is a dog which I drew because I like dogs. That was a great first effort. I can't wait to see what you create next time. Great. Now for our second creative work of art, we are going to create a multimedia work of art. But as an added challenge, your subject will be the same as in the first exercise. So a flower for Arpe, a bug for Walt, and for Captain Alyssa, a dog. Yes, I love this. Me too. Me three. Ah, the whatnots are in need of me in the whatnots room. Get to work on your second creative challenge and I will be back before you know it.
Hey, Tinalissa, what have you done? Oh, uh, well, I was having some trouble figuring out which crafting supplies I wanted to use, so I just started organizing things. It was actually a really big help. Yeah, there was no way I would have been able to find my bug's antennae without her help. Look. What? This is such a nice bug. And Abel, what a beautiful flower. Captain Alyssa, you have spent so much time organizing that you have nothing to show for this second creative challenge. Please, for the sake of the trial, listen to all the instructions that I give you. But I was creative. Oh, well, forgive me. Please show me your creative work. There it is. Is it an especially small creative work? I having trouble seeing it. Uh, sorry, I, I have a few phone calls I need to make, if you'll excuse me. Hey, Vincent, sorry I haven't come back yet. Um, I think it's probably better if you guys just continue on without me. No, no. You see, Abel and Walt helped me understand that when you were talking about your work of art, you meant the organized art supplies. You showed creativity by seeing a problem and finding a way to solve it. Is that right? Yes. I'm sorry. It's just, in all of my career, I've never thought about someone expressing themselves creatively through organization. Do you want to watch a Bible link from our archives with me? I think it might better help you understand where I'm coming from. Well, such a thing exists, but of course, I will be delighted. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. When God created humans, he made them in his image. That means we're creative, just like him. The Bible is full of stories of men and women who use their creative skills to honor God and serve others. When God told Noah he was going to flood the earth, Noah built an ark to save his family and two of every animal on earth. When God told Moses to build the tabernacle, a place where his people could worship, Bezalel and Aholiab used their artistic gifts to make the tabernacle beautiful. David played music and wrote songs. Solomon wrote proverbs and poetry. Ezra and Nehemiah rebuilt the temple and the walls around Jerusalem. Paul and his friends Priscilla and Aquila worked as tent makers. This is how they made enough money to tell others about Jesus. Tabitha made clothing for the poor. And Jesus was creative in lots of ways, whether he was telling stories, creating food, or solving the problem of sin. There are so many different ways God made his people to be creative. And when we use the gifts he's given us for the good of others, we honor him, just like the people in the Bible did. All of us can use our creativity for God's glory. There are all kinds of creative people in the Bible and all different types of creativity on display. There were artists like Bezalel and Oholiab, but there were also musicians, builders, tent makers, and even clothing creators. So you're saying that my view of creativity might be too small? Maybe. You were right when you said God made us all to be creative like him, but I think creativity is more than just art. I think it can be anything you create. Well, thank you for sharing your thoughts with me, Alyssa. I'm wondering, would you mind giving me some time to sink it all over? Not at all. Go for it. Hey guys, did you get a message from Vincent asking us to meet him here? Yep, we just did. Any idea what's going on? No clue. My friends, I want to thank you all for helping me with the creative communion trial. I have already learned so much. Sure thing. We were happy to help. 
Captain Alyssa, I know that I didn't understand your creative vision at first, but you have helped me understand that there are so many different kinds of creativity, and you've helped me rethink what the creative communion could be. Really? Yes, I've made a short film explaining the whole thing. You made a short film since the last time we spoke? Oui, I am sorry the putting it together took so long. A single paintbrush. This lone paintbrush could create so many works of art. It could paint a lofty mountain, or a quiet home, or a loving family, but it would never be able to draw. A pencil can draw, or journal, but while a pencil could sketch a flower, or a bug, or even a dog, a pencil would never be able to play a song. In order to play a song, you need a musical instrument. All of these creative tools are limited. In order to see all kinds of creativity, you need to possess all kinds of creative tools. And we're the same way. The Bible tells us this in Romans 12, verse 6. It goes like this. Romans 12, 6. In His grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. God has created each of us differently, and He's given us each different creative gifts. Just like a paintbrush is meant for painting, or a pencil is meant for sketching or journaling, God has made us to be creative in different ways. And do you know what this means? All of us get to find out the different creative gifts that God has placed inside of us. What do you get excited about? What do other people always say that you are good at? The answers to these questions will point us in the right direction. God created us to be creative. Now ask Him what you can create. Vincent, this is great. What she said, this is amazing. So is this what you want Creative Communion to be? A chance for everyone to find out what kind of creator God has called them to be? We, oui, that is it exactly. I've missed out on so many different kinds of creativity in my life, and I want to experience all the kinds of creativities that God has given people, and give people a chance to experience it too. I love it, and I can't wait to be part of the next Creative Communion. Me too. Me three. I'm so glad I got to be a part of the first Creative Communion, and I think there's a lot that we can learn from it. Do you remember the verse that Vincent showed us in his video? The one from the book of Romans? Let's say it together. It goes like this. Romans 12, 6. In His grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. God was the first creator. He created everything in the universe out of nothing. And since He created us in His image, He made us to be creators too. But just because we're all creators, that doesn't mean that our creativity all looks the same. The Bible is filled with people who practice different types of creativity, whether they were artists, builders, musicians, tent makers, or clothing creators. Sometimes we compare our creative skills with someone else's. If we're not the same as them, we might tell ourselves that we're not good at being creative, but nothing could be further from the truth. God's given each of us a special gift to create. We just have to figure out what that gift is. By thinking about what gets us excited and what other people tell us we're good at, we can figure out what gifts God has given us. Don't forget, God created you, you can create too. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. While I was helping Vincent put art supplies up in the whatnots room, I found these. Look. I like organizing too. This campfire reminds me of s'mores. Look at this spaceship I made. I still have more postcards to answer. Do you want to know something amazing? God, the creator of the universe, who made you to be creative, wants to be friends with us. When we choose to follow Jesus with our whole lives, He becomes a friend who never leaves us, no matter what. Would you like to make that choice? If so, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. 
choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust.